Hello guys, this is Divya Jyoti and I welcome everyone back to my YouTube channel that is the Techies Voice. Today in this video, we will be learning about how to install SQL Oracle 10G. So let's come and look into how to install SQL Oracle 10G. So I have something called here as 10201 underscore database which is a folder where I have, uh, I have my setup for the SQL Oracle 10G. Let's open the folder and inside the folder I'm having a subfolder sub called as database and here you can see here the setup for the same. The setup for the SQL Oracle 10G uh, let me tell you if I go directly open here you might get some error. Uh, let's see I'll, I'll be telling you what the, what the error will be you'll be getting. Okay, let's uh, wait for a while. I'll click on next. Guys, see here you can get some of the error like this, and uh, so because of that, uh, there might be also some of the compatibility issue while you are installing your SQL Oracle 10G. So to avoid all those compatibility issues, the better what to do is when you are setting for a fresh setup. Here what I am doing is I am reinstalling my software to show you guys how to install. So when you install it in a fresh way, what you do is go to setup, click have click on right click and go for properties. In properties what you do is go to compatibility and in compatibility when you first go you will see that this run this com program in compatibility mode for this is disabled okay what you have to do is you have to go and click on this checkbox once you click on this checkbox this option will be enabled you can take as xp service pack 2 uh, or service pack 3 it works as same there is no nothing different in that so I'll click on apply and ok I'll take setup and I'll go for run as administrator once it's done I'll click on yes let's wait for some time for the ok so here it comes I'll give my password I'll give my password even here ok and I'll click on next. So please wait. This will take a moment. Okay, let's wait. So this is uh, something you get the next box. Okay. So some recommended prerequisites checks are failed. You might get errors sitting station. Do you want to proceed? Okay, let's see what error comes. Okay, the directory you specified for the database file is already in use with a given global database name, Oracle. Either change the location or go to the previous screen and change the global database name. So it's basically telling to go and change the global database name or you can change the location. So let, uh, let's go and change the name here. What to give will give O-R-C-L-E. So we'll give O-R-C-L-E and we'll press on next again. It will take some moment. Okay, let's wait. Okay, do you want to proceed with expression in this Oracle home? Okay, you guys can see here we are getting some of the messages. So yes, you can proceed. Let's click on next. Yes. Okay, here you can see it started processing, and anything comes here like you have to give love access. Okay. So here you can see Oracle Database 10G 10.2.0.1.0. Then let's click on install. So it will take some moment to install if your Wi-Fi is, is very high speed, your speed is very fast, then it will be installing in a very uh, very it will install in very soon. So let's wait for a certain time. We can see here installation in progress. So let's wait. So sit back and relax and keep looking into what is coming, what are the things you have to note down 
guys uh, when you are reinstalling you might get some SID issues uh, which issues even I have faced uh, while doing it and even I have uh, debugged my whatever the issues was there so I'll be whatever link I followed while debugging my errors I'll be sharing the same link with you guys so you can go and debug whatever SID issues if you get basically we, we have to go, we have to do nothing uh, we have to go to uh, when you just uh, press Windows R, you'll get a command from that box will be coming. Like if I press Windows R, you'll you'll get something like this, and you'll be going to res edit. Here you go. It'll be, it'll be navigating to some some places. Uh, oh, okay, some places where uh, it will be showing you to delete all the Oracle stuff, so you can start. A, you can have a fresh start. So okay, it comes here. Uh, coming back to the point, so it's asking for allow access, and obviously you have to get allow access over here. And uh, this is something I, I do, we don't want dot net framework. So let's uh, what we do is uh, we'll press on cancel here. I don't want this. I'm cancel. Okay. Okay, this is uh, getting installed. You can see copying database files. It is taking some time. Clone database creation in progress. So okay, copying database files is done. Now creating and starting Oracle instance. This is on in progress here right now. Or you can see here also this Oracle database configuration system in progress recommended. This all are uh, coming here right now. So let's wait, wait back and see what is happening. Guys, once this is done, uh, in the next upcoming videos, we'll be talking about the SQL commands. Uh, the S uh, we'll ha we'll be having some hands-on. Uh, we'll be playing around the applications. Basically, we'll be learning more on SQL commands. We'll be practicing more and more commands. Uh, we'll be practicing commands which might be uh, very important in your interview purpose. We'll be we'll be knowing more and more on SQL. So, if you guys uh, want some good questions, so when when I start teaching on commands, you guys can ping me up for some questions around. I will be providing questions, so you can create your own question as event. It's basically an application where you have to play and just check it, like how the game is played. So, yes, SQL is a very good uh, good thing to know. It's uh, basically when you go for uh, data from database kind of thing, you need SQL. So yes, you is SQL is very important uh, when you are going, when you are learning SQL. It's the if I'm I'm basically teaching the basics of SQL. So it's my SQL as I told in the previous video. So let's uh, let's see the comp. It will might it might take some time. Yeah. It's okay, it's taking 85% right now. 100% will be on a moment. So completing database creation. So you can see here clone database creation in progress. taking time to get completed 88% is almost done it will be taking a couple of minutes depend on your Wi-Fi speed and whatever the files present inside okay so here I am getting something okay Database configuration assistant. Uh, database configuration assistant is basically it's telling that database creation is complete. No one now. What I do is I'll change the password. I'll click password management. So can I see here password management lock or unlock database user accounts and or change the default password. So guys, you can see here the username, lock account, new password, confirm password. So if I want this and these tick marks are all kind of locked. You can't use because they are logged. So I want to use Scott as my username. 
this is a common used name scott so scott i'll be taking for my username and for unlocking what i'll do is i'll untick the tick mark over here and i'll press on ok ok and i'll come back here you can see the end of installation installation of oracle database tnc was successful let's let's what i do is i'll exit do you really want to exit yes so i will be i don't want anything here right now i don't want anything right i don't want you can close it you can close it right here no problem in this so what i'll do is i'll go okay guys you can see here sql plus uh, let me show you one thing i'll be opening open file location uh, sql plus right click here the skill plus go to properties guys you remember when we have installed we have went to setup and what we did is in the setup we have to go and check go and tick for the compatibility same way we have to come here for the compatibility and see as i was telling in the before in this video in the uh, beforehand it will be disabled so what you have to do is to enable it you have to tick mark this run this program in compatibility mode for and what you have to do is windows xp service pack 3 so windows xp service pack 3 you have to select and you can also select service pack 2 so it will it will be working fine no issues in that so windows xp service pack 3 i have selected and what i do is i'll apply and i click on ok so here i'll click on right click run as administrator yes guys you can see here the sql oracle sql plus is coming here and sql star plus actually sql star plus is coming here and i'll give my username as scott and password i have given beforehand was tiger i will hit on ok it is asking me for changing the password for scott so ok the so old password was tiger and the new password will be Q capital W E R T Y twenty same same I have copied here okay guys you can see here the password is changed right now and connected to and we are connected to Oracle Database Tnc Enterprise edition release ten point two point zero point one point zero production with the partitioning OLAP and data mining options so guys choose in this particular screen you can use something uh, some command called as cn space scr see the screen is clear right now i'll write some command uh, i'll show you right here some command okay see this i'll these are the some now see this the page is now i'll just maximize see the page is now scrambled i am not uh, I, I i didn't like the we it is uh, been represented to me i won't delete it so what there is another way of deleting shift plus delete so if you click uh, if you hit on shift plus delete on your keyboard it will ask you for are you sure you want to clear the screen and the screen buffer i'll press it okay see the screen is clear so guys uh, this is uh, how you install the sql oracle 10 g into your uh, desktops and pcs and laptops so guys uh, even i'll be as i told i'll be giving the sid links where you can debug uh, your uh, a problem or if, if, if something's coming for sid and if you guys like this video do like and subscribe to my youtube channel and if any problem we are facing in installing do this me at pdbhoti772 at gmail.com or you guys can just comment in the comment box uh, so i can help you guys for installing this particular software so wish you all guys for a good career growth and thank you for watching this video thank you and have a great day